Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? I just wanted to do the last video um, for the primary arms micro dot. And what I have to say is, this is pretty good. Um, I shouldn't be surprised. I do own two other primary arms optics. They're different than this one, but they, they are made by the same manufacturer and everything. Um, this is a sweet, sweet little red dot. For, uh, especially if you guys are in a budget and you can't spend three, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred dollars on a red dot, I would say this is the way to go. Um, I liked it a lot, so it's a good chance I'll probably end up buying one for myself later on the, uh, the end of the year um, for the other handgun that I want, which is going to be not till the end of the year, so I won't be able to do a review until 2016 for that. But, um, the the only thing i didn't like about the red dot was and it wasn't the red dot's fault it was mine uh what happened was um i guess the glasses that i was wearing were kind of dirty so the parallax was was really off on the rifle there was nothing wrong when mike shot it but when i was shooting it um my parallax was really off on it um it, it made the red dot instead of um a very sharp nice circle it was actually flaring a little bit and kind of like almost twisting but the accuracy was still there the base held on to several hundred rounds of abuse um i wish i had footage of that um but i messed up forgot to turn on the camera a few times and by the time i turned it on it was already too late and everything so i'm sorry about that i apologize but uh, the other great thing about this is that I was very surprised. I did not red lock, red lock tight any part of this together. Because remember, it's a removable base. I didn't want to put red uh, lock tie on it and then <laughs> got to spend the next several hours uh, trying to get this thing, you know, pry open. But I'm going to tell you something for not having anything except. Uh, the screws holding it onto the base, it held on with absolutely no issues. The same thing with the bottom part. I tightened that up on my upper, not too tight, but snug, and it held up. It did not come loose whatsoever. I mean, I'm talking about uh, maybe 300 rounds were shot. I know to some of you that that's not a lot, but for me it is. And that was including Mike also helping out because he brought his own ammo and everything. And... It held up. It did not come loose whatsoever. So when I got home, I went to take it off. You know, how to how to pop it off. How to put a little bit of, uh, not that much force on there. But how to pop it. Came right off. The Nothing. It did not flicker when it was being shot. Uh, it, 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 it held zero with no issue. Especially out of my short barrel. Uh, out to 25 yards. Uh, this is a great optic, guys. I, I was very impressed. I mean, I own two other primary arm ones, and this is so far one of the better ones they have out there. For the price, that's, man, you're getting a lot a lot for your money, especially with the night vision option. That's really good. It's just like I said in my previous video, if you're one of those guys who like to go hunting, vermin hunting late at night, and you got to take out some squirrels, you got to take out some possums, raccoons, uh, you know, they're, they're damaging your field simple optic like this with night vision and a suppressor you're set this is a this is a great combination if, if you guys want to set something up like that on a handgun on a river 1022 on an ar-22 or even a regular ar out to 50 75 100 yards just i i would recommend this optic for something like that um all right, guys, um, I want to thank the guys at Weapons Evolution for able to get me a red dot and the base for for me to use for the test and evaluation. I also want to thank Mike again for co coming out there with me and testing and trying it out. And he, just like I said, he, he really liked the red dot. That's what he told me. And also Primary Arms, thank you for uh, allowing Weapons Evolution to be uh, able to get one of your red dots. We get to try it out and everything, which is like I said in the past, I have uh, primary arm optics. I'm sorry, red dots, and never had any. Only had one with an issue, and then and then that's it. So, out of three that I owned in the past, one um, got messed up. I don't know how, but it got messed up. Send it in, 
they fixed it with no issue, got it back. I sold that one and I kept the other two, which are the other ones you guys saw in other videos. And I haven't had any issues for several years with those two optics. And then this is probably ain't gonna end up being my third optic by the end of the year, once I, once I get my Ruger 2245. But like I said, guys, the only issue that I had was the, with the parallax with my glasses, but that was, that was me. That wasn't the optic. That was, that was just the glasses that I had on. I was actually kind of sick that day too. So that kind of messed it up a little bit, but, um, is great optic. I have, especially if you're looking for something in low budget, you don't want to put a lot of money into it. Let's say you're getting started on, um, two gun competition, three gun competition, great little optic to start out with. Um, I read reviews where people use them on their, um, their three day courses, like AR three day courses and stuff like that. And they outlived all of that. You know, they, they were able to take the abuse, the hit, the smack being thrown in mud and water. And I heard people talk about them and I heard that they never had an issue with them. So that's, that's another positive right there that you can, your money's worth beyond what the product is. So just like I said, this is under $100 just for the optic, and you're getting maybe a $300 worth of an optic out of this thing. So remember guys, if you're looking for a red dot, primary arms, um, micro dot with a removable base, so that way you have other options to attach it to other rifles, to other handguns, and, and, di and different other things. You know, you can use it for your three gun, Keep it on the side, just like I said, on your uh, 2245 with a removable base. Attach it on there. And now guys are starting to attach these onto Glocks um, using the uh, aim point one. So if you don't want to spend $600 on a red dot, but you want to you wanna have something very similar to what they train with, there's a great option and you get the exact same base and everything. And it could be cut to the same size and, and attached to there. Okay, guys, that's, that's about it for tonight. Um, just like I said, I want to thank everybody for helping me out getting my hands on one of these red dots. And uh, don't forget, guys, go to weaponsevolution.com. It's a great forum. There's great people on there. Don't forget to check out Primary Arms. Um, their website, where they have tons of other options. They have a lot of things like that. Um, you know, for red dot scopes, you know, they have great deals on uppers, lowers. You can get all kinds of stuff from them. They're, they're actually one of the very few companies online that I go to to buy my firearm stuff. Um, I go to them. I go to AIM Surplus. That's about the only two I go. is, is Primary Arms and AIM Surplus are the only two that, that I actually buy online. I don't really buy from other companies. And because I always get great deals, especially from Primary Arms. So, guys, um, this is the end of the review. Sorry that it took so long. I was sick the last couple days. I had to go to the doctor, and I have to go to another um, doctor's visit tomorrow morning. But, um, but you guys have a good day. God bless. Be safe out. Be safe out there, and don't forget to train.